So if you don't know, James Robinson for the Jacksonville Jaguars was looking to set some rookie records held by the great Fred, Fred Taylor. Uh, University of Florida, great running back, was a good NFL running back for a long, long time. Probably one of the great Jacksonville Jaguars. The way they had been even approaching that was running the stretch with uh, Robinson. Uh, they came into this game thinking that was going to be a way to get him that record. Nope. Before we get started, I want to thank the Patreon supporters, Brandon Bazell, Darius Daniels, Brandon Henderson, Joshua, Martin Van Burskirk, Alfred Povos, Jared Green, Antoinette Craig, and the newest member, Random Shamo. Appreciate you guys. Thank you for everything that you do to support Sip the Tally Films. Today's comment of the day comes from AO, and he says, when these videos show up, you just go ahead and hit the like button before the video even loads, or before it even loads. Nothing else needs to be said. Do what the man says, follow directions, hit the like button. Welcome back. And again, if it's your first time here, make sure you hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, hit the bell notification so you can be notified when these videos drop, because for the most part, they're random when I can get a chance to do them. But, you know, without further ado, let's get into this stretch run. Um, so you have on the screen Jacksonville in a let's see what they got left all right so they got this is a tight end this is number 80 I think Shaw Shaw gonna see or something like that I know I butchered that name but they're trying to run stretch and this is whole videos about them running stretch and us stopping it so let's see what happens and then we can go back and talk about it that's window dressing so what they're gonna before we even start they're gonna use this guy the cutoff in Gogway, so he can't chase it down from the back. Then all these other guys, which is one, two, three, four, five, six, are in the blocking scheme for a stretch for um, the running back. See, he's trying to cut off in Gogway. But let me play it. Let me play it. They got maybe two yards, which is which is you know that's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's okay good for the defense now let's see if we control our gaps so without you know without me knowing the scheme I'm gonna guess and Gogway has backside Queen has that gap Fort's there uh, I think that's B wheels there I'm not sure who this is maybe Wolf maybe I'm not sure who this is has that gap I'm assuming Chuck's gonna go there or either they're gonna switch they may cross face and switch uh, Judon has outside and Marlin I don't think Marlin has a gap, maybe, unless they don't have a run, uh, another receiver. But that with let's let's say Marlin is not a part of this. So this gap or this gap is open. One of the two. Let's see what happens. All right, so we left this gap open. He's probably Matabike probably has a two-way go in. Now, with that being said, Judon wants to get out here and set this edge so they can turn it back inside, and these other guys can feel, can flow and feel. All right, uh, Brandon is winning is winning that gap right there. These two guys are really not part of the play at the moment, so we're not going to speak on them. But Matabike is at a stalemate, which is good. Judon needs to fight to get outside. Chuck needs to feel right there, and Marlon needs to clean up. All right, now Judon setting the edge, which is good, because now if he wants to run out here, he has, he's going to have to bubble all the way back here. So with Judon getting upfield pressure, he now has to try to cut it in here somewhere. And when he cuts it in here, this is where the defense needs to be. Look, matter BK winning. Matter BK winning. Not getting hooked. And what this what this offensive guard wants to do is get on Matter BK's outside shoulder so they can create a lane for the running back to run through. What Matter BK wants to do is fight and keep this left arm free so when the running back does fight up in here or try to fit up in there, he can make the tackle. So he's beating the double team. And now there is a little cutback lane, but look who's sitting right there. There's a little cutback lane, but look who's sitting there. So Judon made it, cut back. Matter BK is winning in this gap. And then the cutback lane, we have a cutback player sitting right there. Which is great. Now everybody just converges on the tackle. So that's a great job by Judon. Great job by Matter BK for beating the double team. And a great job by Fort for not overplaying it. Be a gap behind. He's a gap behind. He's still a gap behind. 
Now, he could have ran over here, you know, real fast if he wanted to. But look at him. Gather his feet. Sit right in the gap. Gather his feet. Sit right in the gap. It's good sound defense. Good sound defense. Let's go to the next play. Running it again. Let's get the back view. All right, this is the maybe this, this is another quarter because of the way the view is. Not sure if it's the second or third or whatever. But now they don't have as many guys up there, and we got what eight in the box, four, five, eight in the box, yeah. With um Chuck following the tight end, Chuck just flipped over. Can't tell who this is. Is, is that you, huh? Malik Fort? That's not Fort. That's uh Board. That's bored. And this is Yannick. Yannick. Let's see. All right, he ran a stretch right. Look, look, watch how um, Chuck sets the edge. Watch how Chuck recognizes it and just sets the edge. The same thing Judon did the last play to make it turn back. All right, now I'm setting the edge up field. Now you can't get outside. He has this arm free, which is great. Which is great. So if he does happen to bounce it, he can disengage from the tight end and go chase it down. Now we got he's winning outside in this gap. So let me go back and let's set these gaps up first. Chuck has this this gap. Yannick has this gap, even though it's gonna kind of fit that way. Um let's see there. Somebody, I'm gonna assume the the linebacker. I'm gonna assume, I'm gonna say he has that, the linebacker has this one. Because it's just a better angle. That gap. Look like we are blitzing here outside or he may try to cross face but one of these two got C and one of these got B it just depends on what kind of game they're going to play alright Chuck sets the edge we got outside look at all these guys looking the same they recognize the slant and look at their knee good knee bend good steps they, they, they ready to defeat those blocks now you got the edge set you got that whole that, that gap um, taken care of you got this gap taken care of because this arm is free you're trying to get a double team there but he's beating it which is going to leave this guy free even though they got a full back in there the edge is set great by Chuck great by Chuck we need to hold this and Godway needs to hold this point better than he has it now but you still you got this guy free you got the fullback there, and the fullback is going to end up blocking him because he has his outside arm free. Look, it just creates a mesh. Just a, a muck. Creates a muck. Who, now, who creates that muck? This is, I think this is Matabike again. You know, he did it on the first play, and I think this is him again right here. Just look how well this young boy playing. Young boy. Young bull. And we talked about it last night when I was on with Ken. That this guy is, he's really getting an opportunity to learn from. Yeah, it's Matabike. It's 92. Getting, having a good opportunity to learn from Calais, learn from Wolf, learn from McPhee. He seems to be taking advantage of the quality of guys that's in front of him and taking it from the practice field or just in general conversations to the game. This is a perfect time to give this video a thumbs up. And while you're down there, make sure you go ahead and click that subscribe button. Thanks. Going to play three. Again, they brought the receiver in, so this is probably the same same place similar to earlier to cut off the backside, and they're going to try to run stretch over here to the right. So we need an edge set, and we need somebody to blow it up. Now, without even knowing, that's Matter BK again. That's Matter BK. So let's see what goes on. All right, we don't have the edge set like we wanted to because this guy went inside. So now they have an opportunity to get outside because 80 can hook him unless he comes and takes it. Outside on free, Matter BK fighting the double team. If Matter BK can keep these guys engaged, this guy should be free. If he can do that, if he can keep them engaged, that guy should be free. They're just stretching it out, stretching it out. Now, opportunity to hit that? No, because you got a guy feeling right there. So let me try to bounce it outside, see what I can get outside. But when you bounce it out there, this guy's out there. Okay, that hole's closed. Let me get outside. There's a hole. Nope, it's closed. Look at that gap integrity. There, there, there. Nowhere to go. Now you got to do is just make the tackle. 
Great job. Discipline defense. Discipline defense. Gaps field. Run to the ball. It's within, let's, let's say, a three-yard radius of this guy you got. One, two, three, four, five guys. Great. Great. Great team pursuit. Discipline football. Discipline football all the way to the sideline. And our last play. Stretch again. And notice we always had somebody to cut down the backside, the backside end man or whatever. Always had somebody to, to kind of cut this guy off. This time they didn't have somebody to cut. Man, this this video should be titled Matter BK. I didn't realize that. Look at him. That's Matter BK again. Defeat that block, make the tackle. Look at that. No need to even talk about the rest of it. You know, we could talk about it. Let's, let's talk about it to, to give them justice. But, man, just look at Matter BK. Juicy gets hooked right here. So, that's that's a loss. Um, Washington is fighting a double team. And you just got to try to you gotta try to grab grass and split that and make a muck. McPhee's inside, which that's what we don't want unless somebody else's responsibility is C-gap. Uh, Chuck is probably about to get blocked by tackle or a tight end which I don't like so you got a fullback coming and you possibly got a gap right here for him to hit so there's potential on this play if not for Matt BK. he beats the guy and makes the tackle now if he ends up winning he ends up winning by going inside but that's not sound look at McPhee right here he's going to end up winning this block but that's not sound Matter BK is that deal, man. Matter BK is that deal. And um, Ken talked about it last night. He had five, I think, pressures, pressures in the second half on top of things like this. So I think we got a we got a good one in that dude right there, man. And I didn't even realize he made so many plays when I cut these up yesterday. But um, you know, this is film two from the Jacksonville Jaguars game, and it was a issue. You know, it, initially it was about stopping the stretch. You know, in one of the plays they really relied on but it turned out being a matter bk film session so um i might have to throw his name in there somewhere but again i appreciate you guys for coming through this is your first time here make sure you like comment and subscribe uh comments you know the comments that i feel like are the comment worthy i'll put it at the beginning of the next video and we can talk about them but if you want your comment featured make sure you comment and it has a chance to be featured in the next video and again thank the patreon subs who i shouted out at the beginning of the video and uh, everybody else is, you know that want to support it's um paypal it's patreon it's cash it's all that stuff is in the description so i ain't gonna go into it but again just go check with sit the tally films uh next videos coming out is um lamar's deep passes we're gonna talk about lamar's deep passes and until then i'm out peace